turning on Benton Crossing Road. We're headed down a little dirt road to get to the hot springs. It's 5.30 a.m. We have made it and there's actually a lot of cars in the parking lot. It looks like people camp here overnight. All right, so there's this cool little trail that we're gonna take to get to the hot springs. It looks like there are two hot springs over here that you can go into um, and there's people in them already. It is so pretty out here. There's a couple of people, but you can get your own little spaces and nooks because there's a lot of different areas. It's a really big hot springs. We're out here in summer and it's still even a little bit cold, so I'm super excited to get into the hot springs. And we got the sunrise coming up. Hard. Okay, so quick tip, we got here at 5.30. There were already people here for sunrise, it was crazy. Yeah. So we're leaving now at 6.30 and there was only one person. So if you're looking for a little more privacy, 6.30 may be the better, better time to come. We're staying right near Mammoth Mountain and to get here, it's about a half hour. We're here in June and sunrise is about 5.30. I highly recommend, I know it's early, but I highly recommend coming here for sunrise. It was gorgeous. True. Headed to Polky, Polky Hot Springs? Polky Pools. Polky Pools. This one's really cool. Polky Pools is only about eight, 10 minutes from Wild Willies. Really, really nice. Someone did a really cool job. They built it all up. You have a stunning view. You actually have even a man-made lever where you can let in more hot water. And so it's really, really nice. We just got to Hot Creek Springs. It's actually a geological spot. And we thought we were gonna be able to take another dip in, but it's way too hot. There's signs everywhere saying, don't go in, don't go in. But it's definitely worth the view. Just drive in, park, overlook. It's an awesome, awesome scene. Mm -hmm. 